And we're not as dumb as everyone thinks we are. It's pushing people into the conversation who might have been excluded before, or pushing people into the conversation who want to make money. I say around two to three hours in a day I spend on my portfolio. But the real fact of it is, is as some of us are out there and we're seeing these com these hedge funds that have been getting away with this for years, overshorting these companies and hammering these companies into the ground, and no one says anything. But now us millennials, the Robinhood trader, whatever you want to call us, when we notice that, and there are smarter individuals out there who can see this happening, and then now we come up to see, okay, it kind of spreads throughout the community. Well, you know, the knowledge is getting out to other people. We're reading what's going on, and people are taking advantage of the opportunity. You know, what we see in, in, in my generation, and specifically in the next generation too, is this sort of, and Reddit is, is what allows this, is this sort of peer-to-peer -peer, um, building portfolios together. And I think that's, it's really unique, and I think, it, it in a way challenges traditional existing financial structures like hedge funds. Robinhood provided the opportunity to have your hand in a part of a company, whether it be a share of stake and so on forth, um, where you necessarily wouldn't have been able to because people live check to check. And one check, one thing could change everything for them in their life. And so I enjoyed that aspect. I enjoyed the fact that I can get a little piece of this, a little piece of that, and it's been great. It's great to see things like this happening and underdog trying to, you know, go against and try to have better leverage against someone who is like indiscutable or uh, institution for such a long time.